Yes, your video hit me hard, as if it was directed at me. Even the commercial fit in perfectly, even if it is really an algorithm. I make that joke with tears of sadness pouring from my eyes. I have something artistic trapped inside of me, and I can't get to it. I have wasted my entire life thus far. At 53 years old and not in the best health, I feel strongly that there's not much lifetime left, but then again, I felt this way ever since I found out I am mortal. It was around that same time that my life, from as far back as I can remember to this very point, became this crazy, random, self-obsessed need for pleasure. If it feels good, tastes good, is good to any or all of my senses, making it fun and or easy to do, I am consumed by it, addicted to it, and obsessed with it. Nothing else on earth matters. I know I'm supposed to be something creative. I've dabbled in many different forms of art, and even though I tend to have a knack for any form of art I take on, I never put the required effort into it that I should. I start strong, burn out fast, lose interest, and move on. I have this extremely rare personality. There are parts to my psychoanalysis that put me in the top 1%, they say I'm gifted, yet another part has me in the bottom 25% and they say I'm challenged. Man, I'm so lost right now, I don't even know why I'm writing you. I keep searching for inspiration and right about this point, I decide to save my message as a draft but never make it back to it. I've never finished a thing in my life. I've been painting but nothing good. Basically, I stay isolated in my tiny bedroom with a wonderful dog. I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I'm stuck, bored, lonely, sad, and just about to lose my mind if something doesn't change soon. Thoughts? Dear Jonah, Reading your message was just like being punched in the face, but I'm glad you wrote me. Your words were very emotional and I'm sure they were not easy to share. Believe it or not, I think that your salvation lies in your obsession. I've never been a very addicted personality myself, so I know nothing about the issues you've had with drugs and alcohol. However, I know what it's like to have an obsession. I am convinced that with the right goals in mind, you can turn this obsession into unlimited creative power. With the right priorities, you can become obsessed with the things that will not destroy you, but help others heal and help others understand the insanity of this world. Art offers you this choice. There's no need to ask yourself why you felt compelled to write me. You know there is something in art that can save you from yourself. And now it's time to give it a chance. You seem to be addicted to things that you consume which, in turn, consume you. But you know, this life is consuming us all, no matter what. Since nothing seems to make sense, I know that it might be tempting to accelerate the inevitable fall. That's what you've been doing with your addictions, haven't you? Accelerate your fall. You've chosen the nihilistic approach, and since you don't want to hurt people, you hurt yourself and see how fast you can wear yourself off. This world, this life, this existence makes no sense whatsoever. It's terribly unfair. It's inexplicable, it's full of suffering. I think we could both agree on that, right? I know what you see when you close your eyes. We are all dancing on the edge of an abyss, all of us humans. 
about to fall at any time unexpectedly. I also know that you don't want to see it and you fry your brain with all sorts of substances so that you don't have to see it. You just want to dance and forget about the abyss. You have become obsessed with whatever helps you hide this reality. I want you to become obsessed with contemplating this reality and obsessed with the positive things you can extract from it. You know there is something creative within you and you've tried art several times and gave up. But now, now it's time to make art that makes sense. Because this life is both extremely painful and extremely beautiful. And you need to start making art about that. I'm sure life hasn't been easy for you up until this point, but now you need to start making art about it. Art that makes sense. Art that brings meaning into this world of chaos. You've said that your personality is extremely rare. It's a blessing because it means that you have the unique potential to help others that might have addictions similar to those you've had in the past. You're a very unique character and you've been through things that a lot of people also struggle with. You're both extremely different and similar. This different part in you, that's the artistic side. Use it. Use it to help others with similar issues. I know you have the potential in you to transfigure your experience into art that might one day change someone else's life forever. Please, I have tears in my eyes right now. Don't drown your potential in alcohol. Don't blur your vision with drugs. You've been painting as you wrote, but nothing good. It's time to stop trying to paint good things and to paint real things. It's time to stop lying. It's time to stop thinking that whatever you do in this life doesn't matter because this life doesn't make sense. Of course this life won't make sense if you keep thinking that what you do doesn't matter because it's only if you know that what you do matters that life starts making sense. That's the secret to dancing on the edge of the abyss. It matters that we dance, even though the abyss is here. This life makes sense. It does. Just, it makes as much sense as you bring into it. My friend, I'm not gonna let you go like this. You wrote me this email for a reason. You wanted things to change soon. Art is the perfect remedy for that. You can start today and I'm going to make sure that you make great, meaningful, inspiring art. Art has to become your obsession. Write me back. Florent.